Okay, so we just looked at the AFE Matador 135th scale kit. Obviously references are everything, it makes things so much easier, it can be inspirational, it can cure problems and everything else. Great book here actually on what we were just talking about. Taking the Rough and the Smooth, the AEC Matador book by Steve Richards. This is published by uh, Japonica Press, is that? Um, UK company. Um, you've got the IBAN number there if you need it. Okay. As I say, it's great having reference books. I'm a massive fan of it. Um, it's lovely to be able to have a look through. Sometimes it can inspire you to use a different uh, particular um, markings if it's aircraft or weathering and things like that. Just the same with military vehicles. So down here, as you can see, if we have a, a flick through the book, you've obviously got it in civilian use after the war, but you've got these great wartime pictures, obviously showing there the Matador refueling of Wellington, okay, and then right the way through. So as you can imagine, you've got the usual sort of forwarding, the history of it, the history of the company, and everything else like that. But generally, as we just make our way through, flicking through the book, you can see you've got beautiful reference photos, lovely scenic black and white photos, the different versions of it there, you can see the half-track version as well. Great shot of it there, wading, uh, obviously after the D-Day landings, I should assume, uh, actually the desert ones, that is, uh, and everything else. There it is in its proper gun roll, as uh, being a gun truck, uh, towing the howitzers, and then obviously towing the anti-aircraft vehicles uh, and everything else. Some beautiful reference pictures, obviously you've got detail, the mechanical ones from the, the actual, uh, probably the book actually figure two for the driver controls talking all about those okay and then right the way through then you've obviously got the more modern versions uh, and then coming through some more in here as we work our way through the book you can see after the war their uses obviously a lot in the timber industry and recovery world okay but you should see some beautiful options uh, and conversions you could do yourself right the way through and then obviously we've got the tanker version there for all the different versions Okay, and I'm not sure if AFE have done the tanker version, but if they have, you'll be okay there. But as you can see, the timber trucks uh, in later years coming all the way through. And then you obviously got a thing there with the different registrations, the locations and notes on them of all the vehicles that were produced and that are still around. Okay, great book. And there's some nice color ones there, um, obviously refueling a sterling. Beautiful book, very nice. I say great references to have. It has got a price on here printed on it that's showing it's fifteen ninety nine here in the UK. So you, if you are after a Matador reference book, definitely the one to go for.